Hi, welcome back to another episode of One Minute Vocabulary. As you know, I'm Laura from laurasenglishclass.com, and in this series, what we do is we take a look at interesting vocabulary in just one minute. So hopefully you can quickly learn to understand and recognize a new expression, but then also to use it in your own speaking as well. Now, you may notice my voice is a little bit weird today. That's because for the past couple of weeks I've been sick. It has not been the coronavirus. It's been one of those other viruses you can get any time of the year. But I'm feeling better now, so we're going to get back into our routine of a video a week. Today, in our episode of One Minute Vocabulary, we are going to talk about a requested expression from one of the students in our community. Let's put one minute on the clock and get started. So the expression we're going to talk about today is weasel out of something, or to weasel out. Now, in English, a weasel is a little animal that's kind of like a long rat or a ferret, and it is very sneaky, very clever. So if you weasel out, that means that you're trying to escape something or you're trying to avoid taking responsibility for something. So for example, if you have a party that you said you would go to but you feel lazy and you don't want to go, you are trying to weasel out. So your friends might say, hey, don't weasel out. You said you'd come with us. Or if you want to add an object to this, you would say weasel out of something. So your friends would say, don't try to weasel out of it. You said you were coming with us. Now, of course, you shouldn't be going anywhere because of the coronavirus right now, but if you were trying to avoid a commitment that you had made or avoid taking responsibility, you could say you were trying to weasel out of it, to weasel out of a responsibility. Okay, that is one minute already. So hopefully you know how to use this phrasal verb, both with an object, weasel out of something, and without an object, to weasel out. Great. If you have any questions at all about this or other expressions, please let me know. Otherwise, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, tell a friend, and of course you can go and see more of this type of video at laurasenglishclass.com. In fact, I have a whole free course about one minute vocabulary that has a lot of videos that are not here on YouTube, so go check it out. All right, that's it. I hope you guys are all staying safe from the coronavirus, and I will see you online very soon. Bye-bye.